If you look online these days and you're trying to find tips of how to improve at poker or become a good poker player, you'll find so much stuff surrounding GTO and solvers and how to improve your expected value, but this is not what this video is going to be about. In fact, with so much talk surrounding GTO and solvers, people seem to forget about some of the fundamental basics to improve at poker and become a top player. But before we get into this, let's take a look at what GTO actually means. <laughs> GTO stands for Game Theory Optimal and is essentially just a playing style in which you aim to play perfect poker, which is completely optimal and unexploitable by opponents. And in recent years, poker has seen the introduction of solvers, which essentially are pieces of software which provide GTO solutions to certain hands and situations. And so they allow people to study hands, improve on their poker ability and work upon playing 100% optimal and perfect poker. Now, whilst optimal game theory is an important aspect of poker and a lot of the top players these days do tend to be GTO merchants, which constantly study hands through solvers, sometimes people become so obsessed with it that they forget about the fundamental basics of poker, which all top players will have. I'm specifically talking about the mental game of poker and being able to control your emotions. And most importantly, avoid tilt. And yes, it may seem like such a simple tip which you all know about, but it's often one of the most forgotten and neglected things in poker that could actually be harming your results the most out of everything. As if you're not able to control your emotions at the poker table, then you certainly won't become a top player. In fact, one of the most successful poker players of all time, Daniel Negrano, voted it as his number one reason why people fail to win at poker. So the number one reason you're probably losing at poker, if you are, is tilt, okay? Tilt has taken down more poker players than anything else in history. Just think, how many times have you got a bad beat and ended up making some calls out of frustration that you might not have made, or possibly just opening a wider range which you wouldn't normally open? These small things might not be very noticeable, but over time can severely impact your poker results without you even noticing. So if tilt and controlling your emotions is one of the most important aspects of poker, then how can you improve it? Well, I'm gonna give you three basic tips which will help you to control your emotions at the poker table and avoid tilt. Tip number one is after receiving a bad beat, don't rush into the next hand. Take a moment, take a few deep breaths. <sighs> a good example of this is someone like Charlie Carroll. He's a big fan of meditation and controlling the mental aspect of poker. And sometimes it's just important to step back, take a couple breaths and then get straight back into it. <sighs> Recalibrate. Tip number two is just take a moment to think about your play. Did you make the right play? Was your play plus EV? Well, if so, then you've still made the right call. You can't control poker. You're always going to get bad beats. The single most important thing is that you're making the right play. And if you're doing this, then over time, you're going to win, even if you get a few downswings, even if you get a few bad beats. So you've got to just remember to keep this in mind and don't let it affect your gameplay. And tip number three is simply just find something that works for you. For example, if you find that after a bad beat, you just like to laugh it off, then do that. If that helps you calm your emotions, if that helps you avoid tilt, then so be it. By just laughing it off, it helps you to keep calm, cool any of that anger, which you might be annoyed at from the bad beat. Or alternatively, for some people, it might just help having a little rage, it might just help having a little shout. Look at Phil Helmer, for example. When he takes a bad beat, he sounds absolutely pissed off. Can I even play in this game? I mean, what the f they find, oh, I mean, what the f I mean, how can I even play in this game? It's like I just get cheated i mean hand after hand after hand don't blame blame the dealer we all know it's the seat that's unlucky but as soon as he gets back into the game it's completely focused and he doesn't let his emotion impact on his poker game so yes although getting angry and swearing might look as though you're tilting if it actually helps you to let out your emotions for a second and then be able to focus back on the game after it then do that simply do whatever you find works best for you to control your emotions and avoid tilt for more in-depth poker analysis tips tricks and general gameplay make sure you click that subscribe button on your screen now and thanks for watching